Hey guys, I'm talking to Dr. Alok Mehta, and his company is Relian. And tell us a little bit about this product. It's one of the products that, just to put this in perspective, there's 800 companies here, and we don't really stop too many times. We stopped, and we've been here for at least 15 minutes talking about it. I think this is an amazing opportunity. Talk about your company and what this machine does. Yeah, so thanks very much. Uh, this is the world's first virtual reality monitor that doesn't require you to wear any headgear. So we can basically give you, in a small form factor, access to a 122-inch wraparound immersive screen with 4K resolution, up to 144 hertz at a very small form factor. It's optimized for visual ergonomics, so you can actually use the monitor with decreased eye strain, eye fatigue. Uh, so it's very good for productivity and gaming applications. So talk about what are the problems you address. We were doing this offline where we see the metaverse coming, we see you know virtual reality, AR, all a part of it, but the glasses are still a problem, right? I mean, the glasses are still a problem, and that's one of the things that I saw. You address that, why this is such a big deal in that perspective. Absolutely, so you can really think about us being positioned somewhere between flat panel displays and VR headsets. And our goal is to basically give you the best of both worlds. We all want the comfort and the accuracy of normal monitors we're used to, and we all want that sense of immersion, but we don't want the isolating effects of having to wear something on your face, and the low image quality and low uh, comfort of the visual experience. So Brelion Ultra Reality represents the best of both worlds where we blended those in and now you have a truly immersive solution in a small form factor. So from coming from the finance world, one of the things I liked about this is it has a huge screen. It looks like you have glasses on, right? So you have a beautiful screen there and you hear the sound. It's amazing. But you were saying from the Wall Street perspective, where it's a Bloomberg or even for me who has several different monitors where you could put it up and you could, it's almost like having all these monitors on one major screen, exactly. which is huge, right? Yep. And that's why you actually saw a little bit of funding for that or people were mentioning it to exactly. people who actually help exactly. fund your company, right? And at the highest level, you can think of this as a multi-monitor replacement solution. Mm -hmm. So we can collapse a six monitor setup into a 30 inch aperture, but still give you that same visual real estate in a small four factor device. So how much is this retailing for? When is it going to come out? So enterprise customers will be will purchase the city units at about 5,000 units at Q4 of this year. Mm -hmm. uh, subsequently, the near afterwards, at our consumer price point, will be roughly around 1,800 to $2,000. That's a pretty good price point, considering you know it, it could replace four different monitors. But exactly. uh, talk about in terms of funding where you are, because sure. I know a lot of these companies are looking for funding. I mean, how early is it? Are you sure. still looking for funding? Because this seems like a, a great idea. Absolutely. And you told me about some of the investors who are involved already. Yep. Yep, absolutely. So we've raised $3.8 million to date. Uh, we're in our second round now, raising our Series A. Uh, so we're looking for a very strong financial lead that has access to enterprise kind of customers in the financial sectors, defense sector, stimulus and the training, and medical imaging and diagnosis communities. So talking to you, I feel like you give me the perspective, but you're a modest guy, so I'm going to give you a chance to say something really cool because right. you said this to me and you didn't like say it first, which I love. But somebody came by here to check this out and actually bought a monitor uh, and bought one of these things. I don't want to call it a monitor, but, but talk about that and who was that? Uh, yeah, so that was actually the founder of Oculus. So um, I think he finally appreciated that there is a, a huge need for visualization solutions, but people just don't want to wear headgears and the limitations that are associated with that. So uh, Palmer Lucky was the guy that actually came in and best of luck to him in his new company as well using our display. Yeah, so that's the guy who created Oculus, the number one selling AR device, and he bought this. That's pretty impressive. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.